Do you want to start a company and get wealthy? Welcome to another episode of Panda Guide. My name is Rocco, an entrepreneur based in Chengdu and co-founder of Pa Ding Ho, Zero Food Waste. I believe many have seen China's potential and opportunities, or you already have plan for the Chinese market. First, let me ask you a question. Do you have already a business idea? My idea came to be when dining at a hotel buffet, I noticed lots of food was thrown away at the end, causing a huge waste. When food goes to a landfill, it produces methane, which is a much worse greenhouse gas. And the Chinese government knows about this. So it plans to achieve its carbon peak by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060. So addressing food waste is definitely key. That's why we decided to create Badding Ho Zero Food Waste. Remember, businesses have to solve a problem. Let's go through the registration process based on my experience in Sichuan. Firstly, determine the company type. For foreigners, there are several options, including but not limited, number one, wholly foreign owned enterprise. It's the most common type, including my company. You are the big boss, the management and the decision making process is easy, very fit for individuals and small startup teams. Number two, equity joint venture. Equity joint venture is jointly funded and owned by both Chinese and foreign investors. Technology, resources, risk, profits, and losses are shared. Number three, foreign funded company, limited by shares. It can be 100% foreign funded in enterprise or jo jointly funded. Secondly, determine the company's name and business scope. The name must comply with the relevant provisions, such as the provisions of the Administration of Enterprise Name Registration. Once the name is determined, you may proceed with the self-application for the company name on the Sichuan Government Affairs Service website. After the name is approved, you must finish company registration within the effective period. Then prepare materials required for the registration, company registration record filling, application form, articles of association, appointment documents and identification documents of the legal representatives, directors, supervisors and executives. In Chengdu, you can visit the official website of the Administration for Market Regulation of Chengdu to download templates of three materials listed above. I put the link in the description below. The entity qualification document or natural person identification document of the shareholder and initiators. Foreign natural persons only need to provide the original passport for verification. If they submit an identification document, is the passport verified by Chinese Exit and Entry Administration, which is attached with the visa issued by the Chinese embassy or consulate. Company address, usage documents, for example, lease contract, property ownership certificate, site user certification, or other. Certificate of capital verification. Deposit the proposed registered capital into a temporary bank account opened in China and obtain a proof of funds from the bank in a capital verification report from an accounting firm. So this is only limited to industries not subject to the registration system for subscription or registered capital, such as joint stock companies, finance, banking, securities, and insurance. All materials set, you may proceed with the registration. Submit these materials to the department that handles foreign capital registration and management, such as the administration for market regulation in Chengdu. Materials that are complete and in the legal form will be accepted and can be processed on site. After that, you get a business license. No application fees are required. Not finished yet, here are some other steps. Seal, get the seal from the seal shop designated by the public security organ and complete the record filling. For the seal shops in Sichuan, check this link in the description below. Company account, open an account at a bank by presenting the business license and other relevant documents. Taxation. Complete tax registration at the tax bureau. Obtain the tax registration certificate and proceed with the relevant tax affairs in accordance with the requirements. Social Security. Register for the Social Security for employees at the Social Security Bureau, which includes endowment, medical unemployment, employment injury and maternity insurances and more. Housing Provident Fund. Open an account and register for enterprises contributing to the Provident Fund at the Housing Provident Fund Center. Other permits or qualifications depending on the business scope, you may need to apply for specific industry permits. 
or qualifications, including the food production license, hygiene license, or import and export permit. By the way, the above mentioned steps may be handled simultaneously along with the business license applications at the all-in-one section for enterprise establishment on the Sichuan Government Affairs Service website. Now you can start your business in China. Let's go for it. If you have any questions, you can always make a call or visit the Government Affairs Service Center, the Administration for Market Regulations or the Commercial Department where you, your company is registered. I've also put the link of Chengdu's company registration centers and the contacts in the description below. The materials and processes vary based on the company type, investment scale, business scope, region and current policies, laws and regulations. The language barrier, mindset and the understanding of Chinese market are other important aspects for foreigners. So here's my first tip. Find an experienced agency. There are many foreign funded enterprises and foreign SMEs in Sichuan. So the agency services are well developed. A professional agency can help you register efficiently. Tip number two, find a good business idea and people who share the same aspiration with you. Tip three, be stubborn with the vision, but flexible in the details of execution. Tip four, learn as much Chinese as possible and understand how Chinese people think and conduct businesses. That's all for this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to share in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or search for the Panda Guide mini program on WeChat. For more China life, travel and business info, I'm Rocco. Bye.